Um, Matthias, the dictator of the Albans, thought he had played a very smart game. Uh, in the previous video, I did mention how uh, he had been invited by Toulouse to join him in fighting uh, some other tribe, which happens to be, and it happens to be that it is Matthias who had made the other tribe um, start fighting the Romans, and he had promised them that when if they revolt against the Romans, he was going to join their side and help them fight, fight, and fight the battle. But when the day comes, of course, um, Toulouse expect Matthias and the Albans to come on, on his side because they already had a treaty. And, um, and when they come, uh, Matthias plays this game of, of uh, abandoning the Romans and going um, up the mountain, uh, pretending like he's helping, but he just wants to watch and see which sides win. If the Romans win, then he pretends that like he's on their side. If they, the other tribes win, he, he pretends that he's on their side. Anyways, that war ended with the Romans winning. Now, um, I welcome you to my YouTube channel. Um, and here I explore ancient texts. And ancient texts here, I mean texts that have been around for thousands of years. Uh, and at the moment, I'm reading from the founding of the city by Titus Livius or Livy. Uh, the book is a collection of, of, of books, really. It's not, just, it's not a book. It's a collection of books that were written about 2,000 years ago by this author, Livy. Um, so I request that you subscribe so that you don't miss the, any of the videos that I upload. But plus, also, it is going to help me uh, reach a bigger audience. Now, the Romans have won the battle. Uh, the Albans are now pretending like they were on the side of the Romans. And now it is the next day after the battle. And um, uh, Toulouse uh, calls all the armies, his own army, the Romans, and also the Albans, because he pretended like they were still in good terms. And he invites them to an event uh, that Livy describes as a sacrifice of purification. And I found this, this um, this right to be so interesting, uh, especially as an African. Um, in most African tribes, when sol um, yeah, soldiers, you can call them that, or warriors is a better term for them. When warriors go out to fight a, a battle or a war, uh, and they come back home, they are not allowed to just come, in most tribes at least, they are not just allowed to come back into the, their homes before they are purified, because it is thought they killed and they've done some things in, in the war. So they need to be purified before they can join the rest of society. And seems this is what, this is what was happening here. So anyways, Toulouse invites the Romans and the Albans to come to these um, events where there was going to be purification. And they come and while there, um, Toulouse had made the plans that the Romans will be armed and the Albans didn't know about it. So the Albans wake up in the morning, they are invited, they just come and armed. So the Romans uh, soldiers kind of like take positions around them waiting for a signal from Toulouse. Now, Toulouse invites them, they come in, um, um, and also they are, they are addicted. And Matthias, of course, comes in and he thinks they are some, he, he, he believes that his, his, uh, his, uh, his tricks that he played the previous day at the battle were not noticed by Toulouse. Um, now, um, then uh, Tulu starts to address the soldiers who are um, both the Romans and, and the Albans. And this is what he says. Uh, first, he talks to the Romans, of course. He says, Romans, if ever anywhere in any war you had a reason to give thanks, first to the immortal gods, gods and then to your own valor, it was in the battle of yesterday. For you fought not only against your enemies, but a harder and more dangerous fight against the treachery and the perfidy of your allies. So. I think at this point, uh, um, the Albans are kind of catching up, catching on on what is going on. Maybe, maybe not all of them because uh, Matthias did not really inform all of them what he was trying to do. And in fact, Atulus does mention that later on. He continues to say, for, the for, for to, the unde to undeceive you, for to undeceive you, I gave no orders that the Albans should draw off towards the mountains. What you heard was not my command, but a trick and a pretended command, devised in order that you might not know you were being deserted and so be distracted from the fight. And that the, um, the enemy, thinking that they were being hemmed in on the rear, might be panic-stricken and flee. So he explained to them what happened the previous day. Remember the other uh, video I did mention that uh, uh, when the Albans seemed like they were walking away, some of the Romans came and told Toulouse, look, the Albans are abandoning us. And, and he tells them, go back and fight. I know what's happening. It is me who has commanded them or ordered them to take that move or to make that move. And he, say, he says this aloud so that the enemy 
who are the other tribe who, who are expecting that the Albans was going to be on their side to hear it so that they also think that they are being played. And that worked because the Romans ended up winning the battle. And he continues to say, so it is now him explaining to the Romans that I did deceive you, but I had to deceive you so that you don't get, you don't panic um, and so that you continue fighting. He continues to say, and yet, and yet this guilt which I'm charging does not attach to all the albums. They put for they, they they but follow their general as you too will have done, and I desire to lead you off anywhere. It is Metius over there who led this march. Metius too who contrived this war. Metius who broke the treaty between Romans and Albans. Let another dare such deed hereafter. I do not speedily visit such punishment on him, as shall be a conspicuous warning to all mankind. So he makes it clear, he makes an accusation or he charges Matthias for, for playing a dirty game on Romans, but he, 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 uh, um, he absolves the, the, the Albans because he says like they didn't know what was going on, they were just following order. So he decides he's not going to punish the Albans as, as a people, but he's going to punish Matthias for doing whatever he did. And at that, at that point, um, soldiers who had been stationed um, at strategic points, they surround Matthias and, and put him in, or they chain him basically. And then um, Toulouse goes ahead and um, tells the Alban people that he has nothing, he basically tells them that he, he has nothing against them. Um, and he, he, he orders that all Albans, which is basically, you can conclude that it was kind of like a punishment on them, but he didn't see it as a punishment. He says all Albans have to be taken from their homes and brought to Rome. And indeed, the soldiers went to Alban towns and collected all the people and brought them to Rome. And um, and um, he, as the soldiers were doing this, he punishes Matthias by tying him uh, on two sides and having horses pulling on two sides. So because he wanted to show, he was telling him, you, that's what you are doing basically. You are trying to be on the side of the Romans and you're trying to be on the side of the, the tribe you are fighting. So we are going to, uh, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to help you uh, solve that problem of trying to decide where to be. And so it, it, it ties him to horses and they pull him apart and his body is, uh, is split into two. And um, yeah, and now the Albans are brought to, to Rome and uh, um, the buildings in the cities of the Albans are destroyed. Uh, they are leveled down and uh, except for the temples. Livy tells us that um, Toulouse orders his soldiers not to destroy the temples, but every other building was, was leveled and then the people were brought to Rome. And when they come to Rome, uh, Toulouse makes them citizens. And in fact, he picks uh, the chief men, as Livy says, of the Albans and he, he appoints them to be senators and they become, um, they become Romans. And in fact, out of this, uh, Livy tells us that the, the, the number, of, the size of the population of Rome doubled. Yeah, so that's how it ended for Matthias. <laughs>